Hello everyone, in the previous videos we just created this login and sign up registration form. Uh, in this video we will just uh, use GWT uh, for uh, authentication, okay, to create the tokens and store them and uh, check the authentication back, okay. So this is the previous code that we use, okay, this server site code for the login and also we hashed the password and this is the register code, okay, register API and this is the client side app, okay are the home login uh, pages and sign up pages okay so now let's uh, create the jwt to use jwt token so first of all we should install that so just come here to create a new one say demo to the server side to the uh, server node.js app there install npm install json web token yeah let's press enter Yeah, the token has installed successfully so now let's import it just come here cons jwt is equal to require json web token and also let's import const cookie parser yeah we should use the cookie parser also cookie parser is equal to require cookie parser okay i have installed this one also and now let's use it app that use cookie parser after that so it will lead the cookies for us it is for the cookie okay and yeah everything is okay so now let's move and create just the um whenever we come to the login we should use jwt token to generate a token okay so whenever we uh, create a account whenever we log in successfully okay let's just make it uh, we log in successfully and we compare the password the password is okay so then in this area we will generate the token just come here to generate the token const token is equal to uh, with the jwt dot sign we will use sign method and this is the payload that we should write so for the payload i will write id just i will assign the id you can assign id name email whatever you want okay so the id is that uh, or i can assign email email and that is the user dot email okay the user this is the record that we have okay user dot email and the second um, parameter would be that the secret key okay this should be a unique and private and secret key okay the, no one should know about this key this should be in a separate in dot env file but for now we will write jwt secret key okay just like this and the third parameter is an optional parameter just like it expire in let's write one day okay it will expire in one day so this is the way that we have generated the token so now let's just assign this and store them in the cookies to store this in the cookie we will use uh, this response okay this response will we will use that response dot cookie and we will assign first of all a name um, that would be like token and then the value that is token So now let's check it. Okay, let's move to the uh, Chrome browser. Just come here to the login. I will login keep gmail.com. I have already this account. And let's move to the inspect and move to the network in the network area. So let's press the login. Uh, yeah we have this uh, so let's check it that we have the cookies or not so we should uh, come here to the application yeah to the application and here uh, we should check the um, 
cookie let's come here see we have this uh, cookie localhost uh, but uh, there is no value for that so we don't have any value for that so let's check it okay where is the error yes everything is okay uh, let's just try it here um, to in this course we will assign some properties that would be first of all the origin yeah the origin would be which origin we, we should allow okay uh, so we should allow the front end our front end let's copy the code of our front end the URL let's write it here let's remove it okay this is our front end and also let's write credentials that should be true and one thing else which was the methods and let's just write methods they would be get and post yeah we will use just these two methods and let's save it now uh, one thing else um, so let's first of all try it okay just come here back and we will try it five and let's again uh, we logged in but uh, we don't have the cookies so let's one thing else we should write just come here to the uh, login page here yeah to the login to the front end and here i will write we are i'm using axis axis dot defaults dot with credentials uh, with credentials is equal to true yeah i hope it will work so let's just come here again let's refresh it and just come here let's email dot com five and let's press the login button yeah we faced with an error so here yeah here the email error come and let's press login button so we logged in but we have the cookies okay this is the cookie which has generated okay the token and this is the value for uh, the cookie so we successfully stored the cookie in our front end so now let's come back whenever we come to this uh, route okay to this home so we should check is it allowed or not to access this uh, uh, home page okay so just come here and whenever we come to the home page just come here here I will use use effect hook yes sorry should use use effect hook instead of this use effect hook and let's just try it like this something and just come here and here I will call just the um, uh, route okay then I will check there so here I will use the code like this okay something like this let's just copy this code and just come here and paste that code here uh, now I will change it to the git method and we will move to the home route and we should not pass anything here let's remove it and then we will get a result if, uh, here I will just uh, show something I will write something like this okay apple result dot data was equal to equal to with success so then we should move to um, the home page otherwise we will just navigate to um, login page okay if result data data was not equal to equal to with successful success so then we should move back to the login page yeah let's do Yeah, this is the home page route and now let's move to our index page and we will write code for this home home route and just come here up that git route is home it request and response sorry uh, but one thing else here I should call uh, a middleware okay first of all let's create a middleware so for that we will create another function and we will check the token there in that middleware so first of all let's create a middleware const let's name it verify user okay user 
is equal to so now let's uh, call a method that would, we will get here request response and uh, next it this next is uh, uh, the method that we will call okay whenever we call this next it means that it will go back to wherever we call this verify user so we will see it okay just come here so here first of all we should uh, pitch the token const token is equal to uh, so to read the token we will use request okay request dot cookies cookies dot token the token is the name that we have assigned before okay this name okay we were assigned so uh, let's first of all console it console dot log uh, token okay is the token available or not and we will call this uh, middleware uh, here okay after this let's read it okay so just come here and let's come here to the login page yeah and let's uh, uh, login or I, I i will directly move to the home page okay yeah press login button and let's come here and see the result so is running we didn't print that and update git slash home and just come here to the home uh, access i think we didn't import the axis let's import it import axis from axis yeah nothing else is yeah the navigate also we should import the navigate uh, and we should not use it right now okay let's commit it let's save it okay let's come back right now we can access our home page okay let's press again refresh it and come here what we see yeah the token is undefined it means that we didn't read our token okay just uh, come here to the server side code and request uh, that cookies that token so let's uh, just use again that here uh, axis that uh, defaults dot with credentials is equal to true let's save it and let's come here back let's check it now let's refresh the page yeah we read the token successfully okay it is okay now so let's close it and now let's write our code back for our server side so here we read the token successfully so after reading the token so now let's check if uh, there was no token if the token was not available so then we will return response dot json uh, an error okay the token the token uh, was the token was not available for example okay but if the token was available so now we will verify we will use jwt okay jwt now dot verify so first of all uh, uh, to verify it we will pass the token uh, then we will just pass our secret key okay our secret key was let's check it this was our secret key okay just copy this and just paste it here and uh, after that let's uh, we will just create a function and we will get uh, an error and decoded code error decoded this decoded is the code or uh, the data that we have decoded before okay here see this was the data okay this email we will get this this email back there here okay from this decoded uh, variable so now let's check it if there was any error then we will return result.json and the error would be token is wrong and if there was no error so now we will just uh, let's call next okay now whenever we call this next so what it will do it will come back here to the home page so here we will return result return result json just have a letter on success let's save it and let's come here back and let's move to the console let's refresh the page 
so success okay so we should uh, destroy let's delete the uh, token first of all just come here to the application come here and let's delete it yeah that has deleted so let's refresh it back yeah the token was not available see the token was not available okay and again depreciate see the token was not available so if i move to the login and login yeah let's login dot com and let's login to the system we logged in and see the success okay it means that we are success if i come back and depreciate again okay again we will get that message success okay it means that the token is uh, available with us so it was all about the uh, GWT token authentication uh, in Node.js uh, with modern stack so I hope this video was helpful for you so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and like our video and share with friends thanks for watching